After much anticipation, the arrival of wireless electric car charging is finally here. The concept of inductive charging appears to be an immensely convenient one, and it is a technology that has been around for a while. However, despite its reliability and demonstrated effectiveness, it is perplexing that this technology has yet to be widely adopted. Inductive charging, also referred to as wireless car charging, is similar in nature to wireless phone charging, which has now become a daily convenience. The difference is that this technology pertains to electric vehicles. By parking your car over the charging pad, the battery is replenished without any need for wires or sockets. In addition, rapid charging speeds are attainable through wireless car charging. The concept of inductive charging has been discussed extensively for years, but it remains a technology of the future. Over five years ago, Audi, BMW and Jaguar announced their plans to implement inductive charging. Various trial initiatives have exhibited a range of wireless technologies, with the majority utilising a portable charging pad that can be slotted under the car to charge. Firms that specialise in industrial inductive charging for taxi ranks, delivery depots and similar operations prefer fixed plates that are embedded into the ground, allowing for faster charging rates. A new programme for wireless charging has been initiated in Gothenburg, Sweden. This pilot scheme is being managed by a group of companies which includes Volvo and Inductivs. Inductivs a firm that has been leading the way in inductive charging technology since 2014, is supplying wireless charging plates to power a taxi queue of electric Volvo XC40S as part of this initiative. When utilised, the plates have the capability of providing a charge rate that may reach up to 40 kW. This rate is sufficient to add roughly 100 miles of range for every hour of charging. As a result, the XC40S will be powered for an approximate duration of 12 hours during their expected on-call usage. Recently, a new experiment for wireless car charging in taxi ranks has been conducted in Nottingham. The Wireless Charging of Electric Taxis YSET project, supported by a £3.4 million grant from the Office for Zero Emissions Vehicles, Utilize 10 kW charging pads to recharge the batteries of 10 Nissan and LEVC plug-in hybrid taxis while they were waiting for passengers. The taxi drivers provided favorable feedback regarding the convenience of the in-situ charging plates. However, it is understandable that many expressed a desire for a faster charging rate. The project concluded in the beginning of 2023 and it remains uncertain if the technology for in-situ charging plates will be permanently implemented. Essentially, the technology used for wireless phone charging is also utilised in this method, but on a larger scale. Inductive charging entails dividing the transformer between the surface of the road and the vehicle, with the primary coil being embedded in either the charging pad or the road, while the secondary coil becomes a component of the car. The process of parking an automobile above a charging pad involves the principle of inductive coupling. This enables the transfer of power from the coil located in the charging pad or road surface to the coil within the vehicle. Therefore, the vehicle can be charged wirelessly without the need for a physical cable. The technology in question is relatively simple and is already commonly utilized in smaller electronic devices. This prompts the inquiry. Wireless charging is not without its challenges. According to Dr. Gavin Harper, a research fellow at the University of Birmingham's Faraday Institution, one of the main concerns is efficiency. When using inductive charging, energy is lost during the charging process when compared to a direct cable connection. This is because the energy is sent wirelessly via an electromagnetic field, which can lead to issues such as heat dissipation and other inefficiencies. Efforts to improve the efficiency of inductive charging involve the optimization of charging coils and the creation of new materials that minimize energy loss. Practical considerations also come into play. The process of installing stationary charging plates into a parking lot, driveway or road surface can be quite costly and may cause significant disturbances, especially if conducted in a public area where existing utilities lie beneath the surface. While the requirement for a vehicle to be accurately positioned over the charging pad is a significant concern, the most substantial impediment is arguably the absence of a universal criterion for wireless automobile charging. 
According to a representative from BMW who spoke with The Telegraph, BMW Group was the first company to introduce inductive charging in 2018. However, the company decided to discontinue the service after a two-year trial because of the lack of a standardized communication protocol between the car and charging pad in public areas. A common protocol is necessary to enable cars from different manufacturers to use induction charging facilities. Additionally, in private areas, the benefits of inductive charging compared to a wall box with a fixed cable are minimal, especially when considering the significantly higher costs of inductive charging hardware. The notion of wireless car charging is not a straightforward matter despite BMW's apparent abandonment of the idea in the near future. Other manufacturers, including Stellantis and Volvo, continue to discuss and explore this technology. Stellantis has even showcased its Peugeot Inception concept, which incorporates wireless charging, although Peugeot has not confirmed whether this feature will be implemented in its products or when. Companies like Induct EVs and Magment GmbH are investing heavily in the development of electric vehicle technology. While the focus is primarily on commercial use rather than retail, Munich-based Magment is even working towards a coveted solution in charging technology known as dynamic wireless charging. According to the company, a new method of charging electric vehicles called dynamic charging is the way of the future. This innovative method involves the installation of special devices in highway pavements that will produce and transmit electrical energy to battery-powered vehicles driving on the road through the use of a magnetic field. As the vehicle passes through the field, an antenna mounted beneath it generates an electrical current that recharges the batteries. In an exciting collaboration, Magment and Heritage Environmental Technologies LLC are working together to create a magnetizable asphalt mixture that can be used for the dynamic wireless transmission of power. According to reports, the endeavor has asserted its ability to present this technological innovation for implementation in the United States by the end of this year. Additionally, the joint venture is actively engaged in efforts to extend wireless charging options to consumers in China. At its core, wireless car charging provides undeniable advantages not only in convenience, but also in accessibility for electric vehicle drivers with disabilities or limited mobility. Additionally, induction charging offers a potential solution for situations where off-street parking is not an option, and charging on the curb is either not feasible or obstructive. The most logical starting point for wireless charging technology, it appears, is its application in commercial settings. This includes the ability to charge a bus without any cords while it is parked at a bus station, or to rapidly recharge a lorry while it is in a loading bay or at a rest stop. These applications have significant advantages over having to connect the vehicle to a charging station with cords. Dr. Harper expresses his confidence that wireless charging will eventually be incorporated into particular static applications, particularly in the vicinity of public transportation infrastructure. In my opinion, the possibility of implementing dynamic wireless charging, which enables charging while driving, is likely to be considerably more distant, if not impossible, in the United Kingdom. The obstacles to establishing this technology in a significant manner should not be underestimated. The possibility of wireless charging becoming a widespread practice is a topic of discussion. While it is probable that certain static industrial applications will incorporate wireless charging in the near future, the same cannot be said for everyday use, such as charging your car at home or on the street, or even charging while driving. It appears that these scenarios may not come to fruition for a substantial amount of time. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.